Hey guys, welcome back to my series. I'm Lily and I run my own micro bakery in South London called Lily's Loaf. I'm gonna show you my new oven and my new oven workflow. Um, now it's all very fresh because it's only my second time baking in it. Um, the oven arrived, arrived a couple weeks ago and um, I mean it just took us some time to actually fit it into the kitchen to make space for it so that I could like fit everything else around and to make sure that it was like completely level because it is really heavy and we didn't want it toppling over um, when I was baking. So yeah, so it's all very fresh but I did my first bake with it on Friday, just gone, and I was absolutely delighted with all of my bakes from it. Initially, I was only gonna do maybe two loaves to test in it because I was nervous because I had lots of customers and people expecting the loaves on Friday. Um, so I just wanted to try out two and be on the safe side. But then um, Campbell, the guy who like invented and created and crafted the machine, called me up um, and just chatting to him just kind of spurred me on to try a few more out. And I did. And by about half 11, 12 in the morning, um, I had completely finished all of my bakes, which is unheard of for me. Because before, say if I had like, 15 to 20 loaves, I would be baking for up to six hours or so. So this morning, um, first thing that I did was I preheated all of the elements to 230 degrees Celsius. Somebody who owns this um, Rackmaster oven too told me that the top layer corresponds to the heat coming from above and then the three dials below correspond to the stone, the heat of the stones. I heated them all up to 230 for about two, for about two hours. Hang on, let me just get them out now. Okay, so the first batch is out and they are looking bloody fantastic. Um, I mean, look, that even like if you listen closely enough, you can actually hear the crackle. It's kind of amazing. Um, right, so I'm going to talk you through my second batch now, guys, um, and what I'm doing. So it's taken me some time to wake up today and I really need to get on it because I need to get out and do my deliveries. Um, so, my first batch was my classic South London sourdough, um, which is like 90% white, 10% wholemeal flour. Um, it's your lovely everyday kind of loaf. Um, my second batch is my seeded spelt, which is slowly becoming a new favorite and it's definitely my favorite. So this is my first time actually lining up multiple loaves of bread instead of just two on, on my little wooden chopping board. I've now got these sheets of, I think they're plywood, um, but it's actually so exciting because it feels so much more professional. Um, so here, how many have I got of these? One, two, three. One, two, three. I am currently fitting three large. These are scaled at um, one kilo. Um, so I can fit three large per sheet. Okay, this might have to do for my setup. Um, hopefully you can see me. Yeah, so... 
I did a feedback form recently and a lot of people voted for the smaller loaf um, just because if you're living alone or if you live in just a smaller household in general you might not be getting through the bigger loaves and I remember when I was living in France I would rarely buy like a big loaf um, because I just wouldn't get through it and like I didn't have that much freezer space so I couldn't even slice it up and put it in there. So I just used to get like the small little ones or um, maybe a baguette, you know, as you do. Um, but yeah. Oh, I can't tell you. This is just like my happy place. And I'm so happy to be doing this and to be sharing this with you all. They look gorgeous. So for these, I'm literally just going to slice from the top to the bottom at a slight angle so that they open up. I haven't been having loads of success with the ears on these ones just because it is more difficult with spelt flour, um, but you live and you learn. And then I'm going to add in some steam with my water pump and I'm just going to steam the edges of the oven, not the stone, but like the paper around, all around the loaves and then on this layer too. And then close it up. Oh, and close that. And then I'm gonna bake that for 15 minutes. Okay. Okay guys, so it's been about 15 minutes and now I'm going to release all of the steam out of the oven simply by opening it up, letting it out a bit and then closing and opening up this little vent just up here and that's going to release a lot of the steam. I'm not changing the temperature or anything, I'm going to pop that on for another 15 minutes and just see how they go. Um, for my first batch what I did was I released the steam and then I baked for another, I think in total it was about 20-25 minutes. Um, just because I wanted them to be like a nice golden brown and they were just taking a little bit longer and I wonder if that's because my temp is 230 degrees um i could go higher but i don't yet have a thermometer like an infrared thermometer so i don't know how accurate these are and like a lot of the other owners of the Rackmaster oven have said that the stones get really really super hot much hotter than what it says on the dial so I'm just, I need to get that first and then I might experiment with like higher temperatures and things like that because that's always fun playing around with that for like crust and flavour and and all that good stuff so so yeah I'm, I'm gonna bake this for another 10 minutes, I'm gonna get ready, I've got all of my bags ready for deliveries I think I'm gonna take the car out today just because I'm feeling a little bit tired um, and I actually I can't take out uh, all of my loaves on my bike because I don't have enough space. Um, I can only fit about 
five mats in my basket at the moment and then maybe another four on my back so that's not enough space today and yeah that's just another thing that I need to look into a new bike um, and just like more storage space on the bike itself I have been looking at cargo bikes and things like that but they're just so expensive and because I've just kitted out a lot of money for the oven I don't really want to spend that much so I'm looking at maybe like little trailers for the back of the bike um, and that kind of a thing so yeah I'm just figuring it out or maybe like pannier um, bags on the back so yeah we shall see So this is after about 15 minutes of letting the steam release, so I've opened up the door and they look like they could still do, I know you probably can't really see it on here, hang on. So they look like they could do with a little bit more, um, just so you see on the edge here it's a little bit pale and I like it to be nice and dark for maximum flavour. So I'm going to let the steam release for another maybe four minutes or so and just see see how that see how that fares all of the sourdoughs done um, and I'm very happy with them. Look at these beauties. so I'm signing off now um, my batteries just died on my camera hence why it might look a little bit different on my phone um, but yeah I've done all of my deliveries I've done all of my bakes I have had my lunch um, and now it's just an afternoon of editing this video um, cleaning up a bit and then um, I also need to source some ingredients for a potential new client, um, a restaurant in South London and they've asked me to make a few samples for Thursday so yeah it's potentially new products as well that I might launch on Lily's Loaf if they go well um, but yeah thank you so much for all your support it's kind of amazing I'm up to 5,000 subscribers now which is just a bit nuts um, so yeah thank you all so much for your support um, I will see you next week. Let me know what you want to see. Maybe I'll do like another sit down, like Q&A. Um, yeah, you let me know what you want to see. But thank you so much, guys. Um, and I will see you soon. Bye.